Nate's Art Lab collaboration for January. Today we're going to be finger painting and that was our task to do a piece where we paint with our fingers. I love it. It was so fun. And also I'm going to add a little twist and there's going to be a squish involved. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to check out the playlist in my description box. Thank you. See you at the table. Before we get started, I want to show you the first piece I did as an experiment because I'm using the golden interference uh, paints and I've never used them before. I did remember that they work better on a dark background. So I took a black canvas and I <clears throat> used some, um, the blackest black, the black 3.0, I believe it is. Hold on one second, let me get that. And it's from Stuart Simple. See that? Because I wanted it super black. Okay, so far so good. I spread it with my fingers on the canvas. And then <clears throat> I just put some uh, color down, the interference colors, with my fingers and kind of swirled them around. Well, I either had too much paint or the other thing I did, I mixed the paint with a little bit of golden um, pour medium. I didn't use a lot, but I might have used too much. I'm just not sure. I had to evaluate for a while, but this is how it turned out. Yeah, it all kind of blended together too much, uh, left some white residual, um, I think because of where it was thick. So I gave it some thought. I thought, okay, what if I approach this differently? And this is what you're going to see. Okay, so I started out with a um, trivet and it is not glazed. Um, it is black. It looks a little rosy colored because <laughs> um, I had to change the lighting a little bit above my head. It was creating quite a glare. Anyway, so I'm going to be putting dots down with my fingers um, using the golden interference colors. And as I go along, you'll see a pattern that I am putting down because I then am going to squish a square canvas. Now this tile is 10 inches across and the square that I'm going to, the square canvas is black, as you will see, and it's going to go on top of this. Now this, the square canvas is smaller, but that's okay. I'm, I think I'm putting the dots down so that uh, it will fit really well. So as I go along, I'm changing the colors um, I have eight colors, so I'm going to put them in one direction along the top, uh, the first four colors, and then the opposite direction on the bottom, 
And then in between, I'll use the other four colors uh, going one way and then the opposite way. So hopefully that's going to, you know, give a nice pattern. So I'm going to just get some music going here and you can watch. I will speed it up after I get a few of these dots down because I don't want it to be tedious. Time to squish the two canvases. So I'm going to gently put that down there and make sure I have the same amount of space at the bottom as I do the top. And I'm pressing on the back. Hopefully I have the sides um, that I'm pressing enough. Now it's possible I should have um, maybe pressed down on the borders <coughs> right down on the uh, canvas but we'll see what happens we'll see what it looks like you just have to take your time and try not to slide your fingers because you can end up um, moving things so just pressing down um, firmly you know in all of the areas and by the way i did not put any base coat on the black square canvas. And that was intentional because I wanted to see how the interference colors would uh, stand out and maybe add a little extra texture from the canvas. And I didn't want to squish any uh, black paint with those interference colors. I mean, I could have, I could have probably um, painted it and let it dry, but I decided not to do that. So now for the reveal. We have liftoff. Oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Here is a close-up. And <clears throat> just kind of give you some ideas. Now, I wasn't sure if <clears throat> the white lines that you see, that's part of the interference paint. I don't know if that's going to blend in or not, but we'll see what it looks like when it's dry. Um, same for the uh, square canvas. So that's the tile. Yeah, I look how bright those colors are. Oh, <laughs> who knew, right? Okay, and here's the square. They're just as bright as far as I'm concerned. Look at that texture from the, um, from the canvas. You can see that right through there, and I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, I think it worked out great. Now, the fact that you see the little, the little circles on the sides, probably because I didn't press down on <clears throat> the border. Um, you know, the wooden frame 
of the canvas, but that's okay. I think it's kind of neat this way. I keep thinking I'm looking at a yoga picture. <laughs> and there they are together. I'm back. Thank you. Thanks again for watching my video. And if you have not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give me a thumbs up in the, uh, in the comment section. And comment if you could. It will help my channel a lot. Um, I want to thank Nate Bright for putting this Patreon group together. And let me tell you, there's so many amazing artists, as, as you have seen, and <clears throat> we all are like a big family. So please consider joining the Patreon group. I will put that down in the subscription box. And I guess that's it. So thank you so much. I hope your days are wonderful. We're in a new year and a new beginning, I think. So remember, keep your sparkle on and give it to someone you love. Bye-bye.